Instagram. Hello, Instagram. We are live everywhere. Happy 2023, everyone. This is the first Friday focus of 2023. Unbelievable that we are in a new year. I had a couple of weeks off wondering what you did on your Christmas vacation, your Hanukkah vacation, your Kwanzaa vacation, your vacation, if you had one. Um, we staycated, but um, had a really nice time. And since most of these Friday focuses are based on stuff that happened in my life or my client files or whatever's going on with people, I have a couple of stories for you from the tattoo parlor. What was I doing in a tattoo parlor over the holiday season? Well, last Wednesday and this Wednesday, I happened to go into the local place in the next town. I've gone there several times to deal with my nose ring and can't really see it. It's like a little dot now. I started out with the little dot during the pandemic. I put in a ring because it's always what I wanted, but I felt like, welcome. Hi, everybody. Um, but I felt like, you know, it really wasn't right for work, blah, 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 blah. So during the pandemic, I put in a full on nose ring and I loved it. And I didn't get rid of it when we started going out of our house. But recently I felt like it was time. Hey, um, so got the nose ring taken out last Wednesday and this Wednesday got a tattoo. Wait a minute. I don't know if I can show you guys. Yes. Here we go. Can you see it? Got a tattoo. It says love. I'll explain both. All right. So last Wednesday I go in and I, I drew two lessons from my two visits at the tattoo parlor. And I wanted to share them with you because they're really life lessons. And I think that you might get something out of it. So let's start the new year with some things to keep in the forefront. All right. So this is why we're going to talk about this. Stay tuned here. And by the way, if you're on Instagram, go check out my link tree. I have a free pop-up training coming for coaches and lots of other things coming up. And if you can see my little scroll at the bottom of the ticker tape, you know where to go. All right. So I chose this place locally because I've dealt with my nose ring there. Now, let me give you the scene. It's not quite biker. Um, mode, like, you know, motorcycle biker mode, but it, it's rough around the edges. But why do I like it? It's local. I want to support them. I know they do great work. They're nice. Anyway, so I go in last Wednesday and I have to change out my nose ring. I'm going back to the little subtle one. And the guy who dealt with me was, you know, he was rough around the edges. He was, it was kind of fun. I just kind of played with it. But on my way out, there was like a guy in his twenties and he was with his girlfriend and he was on the table getting another tattoo. And he kind of, he was laughing. Like he was like smiling, couldn't contain his chuckle. And I knew it wasn't, he wasn't friendly. It was judgmental. And so I looked at him and I went, you think that I'm someone who wouldn't have a tattoo, don't you? And he goes, yeah, totally. And I'm like, well, guess what? I do have a tattoo and it's somewhere where I can't show it to you. See, so lesson number one. And I said to him, like, you know, the good older person that I am, I said, do not judge a book by its cover. Would you want me to judge you? Look at you. You're covered in tattoos. What assumptions should I make about you? He shut up. His girlfriend liked it. So first tattoo parlor visit, lesson one, don't assume. Don't assume. All right. So I go back the following Wednesday to get my tattoo that it says love. Oh my, it's hard to show. You know why? Because it's for me. It's L-O-V-E with a little heart in the middle. Love. I wanted this tattoo. I have a big birthday coming up in a couple of weeks. And I wanted this tattoo because ever since I was a student of the Course in Miracles, to me, there's only two thoughts, love versus fear, right? You're either coming from love or you're coming from fear. And so I literally wanted to put in my eyes view, my goodness, love, so that I remember with every decision, with every conversation that I have to do my best to come from love because I'm not, I'm not naturally wired that way. <laughs> So it's been a lifelong lesson. So I'm going in this Wednesday to get my tattoo. And it was with the guy who did the nose ring and, you know, cool. Walk in. And he takes the little design that I gave him. I put it on a piece of paper. He comes back to me and he really was like, it wasn't the feeling of like, this person's a customer who's about to drop some good money with me. It was more like I was a pain in his ass. And he comes up to me and he goes, you're going to want to make this bigger or it's going to look like shit. And I was like, oh, well, educate me. I don't know. You know, and he was like, you want to make it bigger so it doesn't stretch and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, great. And he walked away from me and I thought, you know, 
I don't want this person's energy working on me. I don't want this person in my space. And come from love. <laughs> I didn't have the tattoo yet. But I went, are you having an attitude with me? And he's like, I don't have an attitude. This is just how I am. I'm like, okay, bear with me, guys. There, there's, there's a moral to the story here. And I was like, all right. So he walks away. And then he comes back with the permission slip. And he, like, I guess heard my feedback. And then he was overly friendly, like, would you mind signing this? And that was mocking me. And I was like, wow. Okay, so now you're going to overcompensate. I said this out loud. And I said, should should we not do this? You know, like, this is something I am, want to have fun with. And, um, you know, if the vibe's not right, it's okay. We don't have to work together. And, of course, he took offense to that. And he was like, well, you, you know, you came in hot. And I said, well, I'm experiencing you as coming in hot. So how do we do a do-over? Can we have a do-over? He walked away a little annoyed. And then he came back. And he definitely had pressed, hello, my daughter's joining us from Israel. Hi, honey. So I'm telling people my tattoo story. And so um, I said, you know, can we ever have a do-over and press restart? Because I, we shouldn't do this if we're not liking each other. And he pressed restart. We had a great time. He was very gentle, educational, help, really. You know, I was, he asked me if I was nervous. And I was like, I'm not nervous. I really was not nervous. I wasn't worked up. I was reacting to someone being unkind to me. And I wanted to not be unkind back. And anyway, we talked about the tattoo, why I was getting it. All right, so ended great, love it. He was really helpful, it's it's beautiful and it's working. I keep it in the forefront. So what's the lesson in part two of the story, second visit to the tattoo parlor? A couple of lessons, I think. One, I was reading energy and not language, okay? So his language is, I don't have an attitude, I'm not upset with you, but Oh my God, the energy was awful. So trust the energy. Listen to, I was willing to walk away. If I if it was the other way and he was my client and we weren't getting along, I also would have been willing to walk away. I've done this. And it's one of my biggest you know, pieces of advice for, for small business owners who have a service-based business. The energy is not right. Don't go there. It is not going to be a good client. Third lesson, call it out as it is. Don't let it fester. If I had not called him out, and I tried to do it in the best way, which is going to be lesson four. Um, it, it just would have been a horrible experience. So lesson four is if you noticed, I a few times used, I am feeling an attitude. I, I didn't tell you this, but, but I said, I told him I felt judged by him. I feel judged. I feel like this isn't going right. Right? So I, 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 not you're an asshole. <laughs> you're this, you're that, you're that. And yes, I'm saying swear words on my live. So anyway, loads of lessons from the tattoo parlor. Five, don't judge a book by its cover was the first one. And all the ones I just gave you, and they'll show up in the, you know, when we do the YouTube um, analog of this. But anyway, um, those are my stories from the tattoo parlor. And you know what? Will I go back to this biker place? I totally will. I feel like I, I made a new buddy. He was very respectful in the end, very kind. Everything was great. I respected where he was coming from. We talked about a lot of cool things. So there, this was a longer Friday focus coming back on Friday. Stay tuned. I have some exciting things coming up this year. I'm not going to say anything yet, but it's coming. Something we're going to do with our Friday focus and turn it into um, some, some new varieties. But stay tuned. Check out my link tree, guys, on Instagram. And those of you looking below, I'm doing a free pop-up training for coaches on the trends that are coming up in 2023 for our profession. So please join me and, and stay tuned. Lots of cool stuff. And thank you. And my daughter, have a great time. Have a great day. Bye, everybody.